To solve the problem of clogged toilet drainage, a small workshop in Pakistan came up with an idea that sounds almost unbelievable. Turning old motorcycle battery shells into cheap, durable PVC pipes. The secret process takes place inside a recycling facility so restricted even filming is forbidden. In front of us lies a mountain of discarded battery casings weighing nearly a ton. Workers feed the plastic shells into a shredder. Fast, precise, and fearless, wearing only thick gloves and confidence. This high-speed shredder drastically reduces the risk of accidents even without fancy automation. Once shredded, the dark flakes, still mixed with dirt and electrolyte residue, are dumped into a huge mixing tank. For two and a half hours, they churn like a fermentation vat. If you didn't know better, you'd think they were making pickles or kimchi. After three rounds of washing, the clean plastic fragments are pressure blasted with water and detergent to remove heavy metals. When the sealed chamber stops spinning, the toxic grime is gone, leaving clean recyclable plastic. The flakes are dried under the open sky, sorted again to remove stray metals, then crushed into uniform pellets in a secondary grinder. Every pellet is filtered, weighed, and bagged, exactly 25 kilograms per sack, ready for the main production line. In the manufacturing room, workers mix in stabilizers and lubricants, blending them into fine powder. A white mist fills the air, but instead of masks, they wear earplugs, as if their lungs have built-in filters. The powder is then fed into the extruder, heated and pressed through a round die. From the other side, a long glowing tube emerges, slowly cooling as it passes through a water channel. Printed with the date and factory name, each PVC pipe is pulled by a belt tractor and cut automatically to standard length. From dead battery shells to new plumbing life, this process turns waste into value using simple tools and pure ingenuity. And with methods this efficient, you can't help but wonder, could these handmade PVC pipes compete with the big factory brands?